Hey guys, what's going on? This is Tech, and today I'm going to show you guys a new wearable that has barely even been announced yet. The company only released like a teaser video of the product itself. People don't really know what it's about or how it works, so this video is kind of how it works and, you know, the details of the product itself. So basically, what this is, is it's a wearable that you wear in front of your face. It has a magnifying glass in front of it, and you just put your smartphone inside here and it magnifies the screen on your smartphone so that it kind of you know surrounds your peripherals and kind of gives you a more engaging um, you know engaging viewing experience it also comes with different magnifying glasses here as you can see um, so I have the one of the magnifying glasses here that I found to be the best in my opinion um, uh, the other ones you know they can magnify more or less but I find this one to be the best. Yeah, it also comes with these straps right here and you can put these straps on the sides here so it kind of blocks out the light or if you want to use your smartphone as a touchscreen, you can kind of just uh, clip those out and you know actually use the touchscreen on the phone and you can play games that way and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and check this uh, product out. This is a product that's in beta version right now. It's not really you know, a final product or anything. They're kind of looking forward to my opinion and other people that they sent this product to. Uh, they're looking for those opinions too. So, yeah, let's go ahead and check it out. And uh, hey guys, so let's take a closer look at the View XL. This is actually the larger version. They do promise to release a smaller version so that it can accommodate smaller phones. But this one, you can fit like my iPhone 6 Plus, for example, maybe like a Note 4 or an Nexus 6. Just you know, bigger phones in general. But yeah, it's not big in size, it's just the bigger version. And this thing is made out of this kind of two-tone material foam here, and it's not a bad material choice. It looks really nice and, uh, you know, keeps the weight down. You know, I don't really expect this thing to be made out of, be made out of plastic or metal or anything. Um, this foam material is pretty good, and, and you know, it doesn't feel too cheap. It feels pretty good on your hands and um, not, not a bad material choice. So on the top part here, this mechanism is made out of kind of this thin plastic to, to also keep the weight down. Let's open this thing up. You can open this uh, with Velcro here to install your devices and your glass. So this glass here is just basically a magnifying glass. And you do have more that come with it, as you can see. So basically what you do is, let me take this off actually, basically what you do is you install it into into these notches right here and you do have to firmly press down. Uh, the bad thing about this is that the glass here is pretty cheap. The, the locking mechanism things are I think made out of plastic because uh, one of them actually broke on me here as you can see. And this was uh, after the first time I installed this glass. So that's not a very good thing. But you know, this thing is in beta version, so they do have a lot of time to improve. So let's close this up. You just look through this glass, your phone is your phone is right here, and it just magnifies whatever's in front of the glass. So I'm gonna install the phone now, show you what it looks like. So you put it on this plastic part right here, which I don't really like. I wish they had some kind of padding here, or maybe like a deeper type of deeper type of pocket that you, I can put my phone in, because it is kind of flimsy. It does kind of move around too much, and uh, this stuff is pretty sharp, so it can actually scratch your phone. So I'm gonna put it in here. Do you do have these little holes here to hold the phone in? So I can just do that right here and kind of wrap the phone around and then securely tighten it with this velcro right here and yeah there you go it stays on pretty well and you can actually shoot POV videos this way and it looks pretty cool and you can kind of see what life looks like through a camera lens <laughs> so there you go and let's turn on my iPhone here type in my password and there you go guys, this is pretty much what it looks like when you look through it. Um, well, it actually it actually looks, you know, more magnified in, in person, but you get the idea. And then you can, uh, when you close this up right here, you can use it with your fingers. See, you can play games, do whatever. 
So now that's out of the way. Let's talk about the things I don't like about this because I do have some complaints about this that I want changed. The first thing is when you look through this glass, it actually hits your nose right here. And I have a pretty long nose, not, you know, not too long, but I mean, I do have a fairly long nose and it always hits this part right here. So I would like some kind of padding here or maybe just a little cut out, cut out for, for the nose, you know, um, also it's, when I wear this thing, it, I can I can see more of the, this top part here than I can see in the bottom part. So when I look through it, it's it looks like it looks like this, and I, I can't really see the uh, bottom bezels too well on my iPhone. And I want it to be more centered. So I don't know how you guys can do that, or you know how the company can do that, but um, that's just one thing that needs to be improved right there. So maybe have the glass a little longer, you know, here, but the nose area just cut out. So that could uh, that could also be a thing that needs a lot of improving, because even when I use less magnifying glass, it still is a problem. So uh, you just need more more of a glass area to you know to look through. Also, what I found out as a problem is that these little these little clips here, where you clip uh, these guys right here, they're very cheaply made, and the metal right here that uh, that the clips are made out of are is like too malleable and it's too easy to uh, manipulate so um, what I found out is that this part right here is uh, broken I'm not sure if my camera is gonna focus on that but you can kind of see it's it's already kind of just messed up and it um, it came actually even worse than this it came with it came like it was like 90 degrees or something like that it was very messed up and I had to kind of put it back in place but I was kind of unsuccessful and this is just not a good system anyways you know I think it should be just another system to how this would uh, work because it, it just broke way too easily so yeah anyways guys um, also when I take out the also when I take out these things when I clip them in right here and sometimes when I take them out uh, this whole thing uh, uh, gets out so that's not a good thing either but that's only sometimes so anyways here on top at least they have a little clip where you can wear your hat so I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on my okay so now I'm going to put this thing on my hat here with the encoded clip and this is the only way I can attach it to my face so far. So basically this is it. And I just put it on like this. Oh, <laughs> I actually put my phone the wrong way. I put the screen your, to your guys' face. But anyways, whatever. So this is what it looks like right here. As you can see. And yeah, it actually works pretty good with the hat. Um, the hat is a very good stable platform to put uh, to you know hold the device on your face with but I would like a more robust kind of built-in feature it did come with a few straps but um, I can't really find those straps here anywhere and those straps aren't really important because of course it doesn't really work with this so those straps are out of the way they're not really important but yeah that's pretty much it you know this is this is a good device I mean it works um, it's not really needed too much. It's just literally a magnifying glass attached to a platform that can hold your phone and it just enlarges the phone screen. It doesn't do anything fancy. It's not like an Oculus Rift or anything. <laughs> it's just literally a piece of glass attached to this thing and you just look at a phone uh, with a magnifying view. And you know, if you like that kind of <coughs> stuff, it's pretty good. And it's pretty good as a phone holder anyways you know sometimes when I look at movies on my phone it's it kind of gets pretty tired tiresome to hold it up with my hands you know so it will be it is kind of nice to just have the phone here even without using the glass just to have the phone here as as a phone holder you know just just to have it on your face like that without uh, having to use your hands so that's pretty nice itself but yeah other than that and I don't I don't really find too much use with it but it is a pretty good idea and you know I hope the company uh, 
success and stuff like that so hopefully they can improve on those things that i mentioned and yeah that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching this video go ahead and click in the link in the description below for their website and their facebook and uh yeah thank you guys for watching and see you later